what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the future straw hat bounties post Wano. So to get this video started off, the first straw hat I want to talk about is Chopper. I think Oda will continue the gag that he has always done for Chopper's bounties. So I think Chopper will go from 100 berries to 1000 berries. I think that Oda honestly may keep this up the entire series. I could see Chopper getting a actual like bounty of what he should actually be worth by the end of the series, but I don't see that happening post Wano. I think the gag will continue, and like I said, it, I think he'll just get like a thousand berries or something like that, or like 150 berries or something. Now moving on from Chopper, I want to talk about Nami. I think Nami will get a bounty in between 100 to 200 million berries. I think that. That is fair for Nami. Honestly, I would want to say it'd be in the middle of that, and Nami would get a bounty of a hundred and fifty million. I think that is a fair bounty for Nami, and uh, yeah, I just I think that's a fair bounty for Nami. I can't see it really going much higher than two hundred million. Honestly, I don't even really see it at two hundred million. I see it more of like a hundred fifty million. I think that's just fair for Nami. Now moving on from Nami, I want to talk about Usopp. Now Usopp's bounty is already at 200 million berries, so I see his bounty going up to, honestly I want to say 500 million berries, just because Usopp's bounty, I don't want to say that like he doesn't deserve what he has now, but I think that Usopp's bounty is a little overvalued, so I think that Oda is going to continue on with his trend and give Usopp a bounty of 400 to 500 million berries. I, I think that's what Usopp's bounty will end up being post Wano. The next straw hat I want to talk about is Brook. Now Brook, his bounty is not even 100 million berries, and I think that his bounty will skyrocket after Wano, and I think it will go up to 200 million berries. I think that is fair for Brook. I think Brook deserves a bounty of at least 200 million berries, or maybe more, maybe 250 million. Somewhere in that range, I think, is bounty he will end up having by the end of Wano. Now moving on from Brooke, I want to talk about Frankie. Frankie's bounty is also right under 100 million. I think Frankie definitely deserves a bounty way higher than that. I think Frankie's bounty will end up being 300 million berries to 350 million berries and maybe even 400 million berries. I think he will fall in somewhere in that range. I think Frankie definitely deserves that bounty, especially after going against Sasaki, one of the Toby Ropo members, whose bounty I believe is in that range as well. So I think Frankie definitely deserves a bounty of at least 300 million berries, but I think it could be even higher than that. I could see it going up to 400 million berries. Now the next straw hat I want to talk about is a straw hat whose bounty is very undervalued, especially considering how the world government views Robin. Uh, Robin's bounty, I believe, will at least be 500 million berries. I mean, at this point, when Luffy beats Kaido and whatever happens to Big Mom there, I mean, he's already had that whole thing with Whole Cake Island against Big Mom. The world government will have to see that Luffy is a potential Pirate King candidate at this point in the series, and they will have to realize also that he has Nico Robin on his crew who can read the Ponyglyphs, one of the only people or the only person who can actually read the Ponyglyph like without any type of special ability. So, I mean, that should skyrocket her bounty right up there, just being affiliated with the Straw Hat Pirates, whose goal is to make it to Raftel or Laftel, or what, whatever you want to call it. So I think with her being able to read the Poneglyphs, and her even, you know, defeating Black Maria, or fighting against Black Maria in Wano, I think her bounty should at least be 500 million berries, or maybe even higher than that, but I think it'll be around 500 million berries. Uh, I could be highballing it here, but I honestly think that Robin needs a bounty like that, just to, because she's so, such a threat to the world government. Now moving on from Robin, I want to talk about Sanji. Now Sanji's bounty is a little bit over Zoro's right now, but I don't think that will last for long after Wano, but I do think Sanji will get a significant bounty increase. I could see Sanji's bounty going up to anywhere between 600 to 800 million berries, especially with him going against Queen. Now I could also see his bounty by the end of Wano being a billion. I don't think he will get that bounty yet. I think by the end of the series he will definitely have a bounty 
bounty worth a billion or more, but I think post Wano, his bounty will be around the 600 to 800 million berries range. Now, moving on from Sanji, I want to talk about Zoro. Now, Zoro, I think for sure will have a bounty of over a billion or a billion by the time that we get past Wano. I think that he deserves that or maybe he'll even have the a bounty close to luffy's which luffy's will go up but what i'm meaning is the, the way luffy's bounty is right now at 1.5 billion i think zoro could very well have a bounty extremely close to that maybe not but i think his bounty will definitely be a billion berries by the end of wano Moving on from Zoro, I almost forgot to mention Jimbe, but I didn't forget. So Jimbe, his bounty is already at 400 million berries or somewhere around that. It's not 400 million exactly. It's a little bit over that, but I think his bounty will go up into the 600 million to maybe 700 million berries range or maybe even a little bit less than 600 million, maybe somewhere in the 500 million range, but I think he will get a nice little bounty increase. But Jimbe, the thing about Jimbe is he's he's been a pirate for a while. It, it took him a while to get that bounty, and it's not like the other Straw Hats where the Straw Hats are... are a relatively new crew. They've been around for, I, at, I, I guess, this point in Wano a couple years, but they had years of being inactive during the time skip. So they're relatively new, so their bounties are kind of easier to rise. And then with Luffy also, you know, being the main protagonist of One Piece, is, you know, their bounties are going to be get pretty high and rise pretty fast compared to some other characters. But I think Jinbei will get a nice little bounty rise, like I said, and it'll be around the 600 million berry range to maybe even 700 million berries. The next straw hat I want to talk about is, of course, Luffy. I think his bounty will for sure, by the end of Wano, especially if he beats Kaido, be 2 billion or more. Maybe even he'll get a billion berry increase, so he'll have a bounty of 2.5 billion. Now, I could possibly see it getting higher than that, but I honestly think his bounty will probably be in the 2 billion to 2.5 billion range by the end of Wano. It could be higher, but to me, I think his bounty will be... 2 billion to 2.5 billion. After this, now that we've got done talking about the current Straw Hats, I want to talk about future Straw Hats or Straw Hats I believe will be on the crew after Wano. So uh, the first one I want to talk about is Carrot. Carrot, I could see either two different things for Carrot. Carrot, I could see it being a gag like it is for Chopper and it's a very low bounty, like a hundred or a thousand berries. Or I could just seeing it be, uh, being also like a, a real bounty, but also, but like still low, like around 30 million or maybe 50 million somewhere around there after carrot i think yamato will also join the crew and yamato i'm i think it's unclear whether she already or he or she already has a bounty so if they do i I'm, don't really know i'm just going to assume that yamato doesn't have a bounty and that the the world government knows that this is kaido's son or daughter and so I want to give Yamato a bounty around. Honestly, I want to give Yamato the same uh, around the same bounty that I said for Sanji, around 600 to 800 million berries. Now I know this is really high for someone who has just joined the crew and someone who doesn't, like I said, presumably doesn't have a bounty already. But this is Kaido's child, someone who can actually fight Kaido and you know put up a fight with him for a little bit. We saw that in the manga. So I think that Yamato's bounty should be around around 600 to 800 million berries. Now, that's my thoughts on the Straw Hats bounties post Wano. Uh, I probably sound like I'm sick. I have a cold. So, uh, yeah, I, that's honestly why I haven't up. I said I was going to upload over the weekend, but I didn't do that because I had this cold. And I was also going to make another video before this one, but I didn't end up doing that because of the cold. And uh, so I'm going to make that after this video. Uh, I'll probably wait until the cold's over because I just wanted, you know, actually sound somewhat decent for that video. Uh, I just made this video because it was a little bit easier to make than the video I'm planning on making, which is a video talking about Luffy's awakening. So uh, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out of here. He's made a How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum.